Hello guys, now we will watch new episode of Camp Camp. Season 5 episode 2 we will watch. It called Cloak and Hunt. Here we go. Get excited, campers. Maybe he's dying? I'm dying. <laughs> to tell you. Right here, Air Bud 6 Taekwondo Dog. Uh, the Muppets take Zoloft. Scandinavian natural birthing. Oh, well, someone took you off the special shelf. <gasps> the head cleaner. Spooky. Um. Well, I, for one, am glad you're back for the summer. I can't believe your new job sent you to your old job. They were originally going to send me overseas <laughs> to write about poverty and human rights. Ooh. But once they heard all of my insane camp stories, they said, and I quote, <laughs> How the hell is a lake out of order? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Ah! A genuine scream. <laughs> Seen it. Oh, electricity out. Daisy's broke. AC needs a new compressor. I, uh, this just means we can all play a classic camp game together. Classic meaning cheap as hell. Actually, we can't <laughs> afford hide and seek, so we'll be playing the unlicensed cloak and hunt. The last person I find will get their name on the cloak and hunt champion plaque. Win this! The last popsicle in the entire camp. David, I think that's been in there since the year 2000. <laughs> it even has a promotional movie tie-in. And how often would you say you use bribery with these young campers? We're already immortalized. We've written our names on like everything, even the platypus. Cody Cave. Come on, it's the perfect hiding spot, and the sun doesn't go in there. Probably because it's so scary. Ready or not, campers? Well, I'm not going in there, and neither are you. <laughs> You know, you've got the look of somebody who reads or writes rambling, unhinged streets. Hey, where's your aux cord? I don't allow electronics in my car. What that? You're really edging the whole seek part of this game, huh? Gwen, please. It's Hunt. And I have got to make this last until Quartermaster gets back. Ah, yes. Buying time. How would you say these budgetary restrictions affect your... Yeah. <laughs> Is that Nikki? It's super dangerous in there! <gasps> Everything's fine. I'm just gonna ignore my terrible claustrophobia, find Nikki not crushed under a fallen stalactite, and a third thing that involves nobody dying. I'm coming with for my article, and to be featured in the docu-series when they have to rescue our asses. Oh. 
there goes my name on the plaque. They do rescue <laughs> us in that docuseries, right? Satchel, it's got my Sigma grind set literature and nootropic supplements. No, nah, nah, I'll get it. The mosquitoes here won't bite their own. No way. Oh no, the mosquitoes won't recognize me anymore. <laughs> You're a mud man. Uh, no cell signal in here. Well? Neil! There's been a cave-in. No one is hurt, but we are trapped. Neil! What's the outside world like? Who's the ground and sky president? Don't worry, guys. I will blast this hole wide open. Hmm. Oh, nothing to worry about, Gwen. The children have Ooh. access to explosives. <laughs> I can't believe I came all the way back to the stupid camp to die. What's up, fam? I'm here in the woods looking for the camp's quartermaster. Holy hell! A thirsty, yet gentle, woodland hominid. Like and subscribe for updates. Big deal. Space Kid got trapped in that lake submersible with limited oxygen just last week. And he's fine now. I got out before having to eat human flesh. I would have done it too. Okay, people. Shit just got real. You get the tools from the tool shed. <laughs> Man, screw this. Let's just rescue David. Trying to plan out any and all eventualities that could be occurring outside in the up. Explosives? The camp and the kids are my responsibility, Gwen. And they used to be. <sighs> Sorry, claustrophobia. I know worrying about what could happen won't prevent anything. But what if it did this time? On the fertilizer and ammonium nitrate, the entrance should be cleared right up. It sounds like your rescue plan involves a lot of death. Why is this cave even still open? It's next to a summer camp with kids, for Christ's sake. It's all Nikki's fault. We've got to get her free so I can passive-aggressively victim blame her. You know what they say about a forest creature with big feet. Watch your back, because he's coming for you. No. Oh. Get him! Woo-wee! Look at them feet! He's getting Look away! Look at the piggies on him! <laughs> you better not touch him up! Hmm. Me and Probably Jay. some old C -C. campers. But why would they put this in such a hidden place? Maybe this was more about the memory. Less about leaving their mark and more about how camp left its mark on them. First camp counselor <laughs> there ever was. And they came together on their own. Look in your heart. Do you actually think you're a terrible counselor? Know how I know, because you all came back.
<laughs> if she can get in here, maybe we can get out. Maybe there's some sort of underwater passage to one of the streams. Yeah, but how will we know which way to swim? Well, I guess we'll just have to go with the flow. Which seems to be that way. Guys like to buy a button? All proceeds go to fund a docu-series to keep Nikki's memory alive. I am alive. I can still hear her sweet voice on the wind. you get out without stage demolition? Disappear! <laughs> With parts from this ice cream truck, we fix the mess hall AC. Hey! Can you believe CJ and his flunky rube followers thought Quartermaster was a Bigfoot? I may not believe in Sasquatch. Well, you should believe in him. But you know what I do believe in? Ah. Did you see? It looked like Yeti. Yeah, yet you on the camp. Do you have to wait till next week? It can be. Let's see. Is there an additional scene? Next time on Champ Camp? Campers! Now I'm not going to punish you because this is actually a great opportunity to finally give you... The talk. The talk? What's that? I think it's... Too much mystery. That's it boys, it's funny. I hope you like it, don't forget to comment. <laughs>